Al Unser grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the youngest of four brothers, all of whom first started racing at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. Al came to Indianapolis in 1965, finishing ninth in his first race, and just five years later, he drove to Victory Lane in dominant fashion. Three Unser brothers have raced here in Indianapolis. One, Jerry, was killed in an accident in the late 50s. Bobby Unser won the race two years ago. And now Al can complete the first brother act in victory at Indianapolis. It's just the greatest feeling you can ever imagine that you have accomplished something that, that you've dreamed about of just being at Indianapolis. And all of a sudden, there you are. You have won the race. You've beaten the very best there is. You've dominated the race all day. It was our day. There wasn't anything that I couldn't do. I led 190 laps. I mean, that's an awful lot of laps to lead around here. <laughs> Unser also took his first IndyCar National Championship title in 1970 with 10 wins in 18 races for Vels Perdelli Jones Racing. Hal is probably the best race driver ever to get in a car and make it work. He knew how to win. For a car owner, you could not ask for a better race driver. Very, very talented. And he knew how to go fast. I mean, he just knew how to put it all together. The following year, Al Unser became just the fourth driver in history to win Indy back to back. Here we come to the checkered flag for Al Unser. As he crosses that line, the last yard of break. You can pay a lot of credit to Al Unser because like I say, he just, he could get the most out of a car and knew how to win. Al Unser won the 500 again in 1978, winning for the third time in just nine years. Al Unser, very polished, one of the smartest race drivers as far as racecraft that I've ever known. A great race driver that was never recognized for his ability as good as he was. My father has a, has a style of racing and my uncle has a style of racing. And what I tried to do in my career is take the best of Uncle Bobby and take the best of my dad and put them together. When things were right with Al, he was the most untouchable human being I ever saw. Al was the most vicious race driver for winning that I ever saw if things were right. In all, he won 39 career IndyCar races and two more championship titles, both with Team Penske in CART in 1983 and 85. But by 1987, Unser was without a ride at Indy. A serious practice crash by Danny Ongaius, however, got Al back with Team Penske unexpectedly and a chance to win again at Indy. As you know, on guys probably overdrove it and got himself in trouble, and they decided at that point that he wouldn't be cleared to race. And Al Unzer Sr. was available and a, a good friend of mine at that point. And then Tuesday, Roger calls me on the phone. And he says, would you run my third car? It's going to be a March, and it's going to be a uh, Cosworth engine. And it'll all be first-class stuff. I just said yes instantly. I wanted to race. Yellow flag with eight laps to go. It's Mario Andretti who has gone down into the infield. When that green flag came out, I put the medal down and I never lifted and I didn't. I mean, it, it's a true fact that I run around there wide open. And now here it is. Al Unser joins A.J. Foyt as one of only two men ever to win the Indianapolis 500 four times in his life. To win that race that day under the conditions that I came here the month of May, it's a storybook race, you know, that, that uh, it just shows when your, your lady luck is on your side or the good Lord is with you upstairs, you're going to put it together. And with the team that I had and all the people around me, there I was. Al Unser's my biggest hero and uh, I love my dad. 